Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you the new content aware feature in Photoshop CS5. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have this image of a plow and there are many different people inside of this picture so uh, let's say that we wanted to remove a couple of them like these people back here in the background. So I'm just going to take and drag out and zoom in on them. So you can see we have two figures here and what you would do if you wanted to take and remove these before this feature came out is you'd have to take and make a selection of them and then you'd have to try and replace that area where they were um, with ground and with this uneven line that's back here and you'd have to put in some tree line um, and it would just be a more tedious uh, task. Now what the content aware feature allows you to do is make a selection and Photoshop will automatically analyze the area that's around that and fill it with what it thinks should be there. And it's usually pretty accurate. So let me show you what I mean. To make my selection, I'm going to go to the brush tool and I'm going to hit Q to go to the quick mask mode. Now you can make a selection with any tool um, that allows you to do that. I'm just using that because it's quick. So once I have a brief um, selection over here. I'm just going to take and hit Q again and it will enable the selection. I'm going to hit select inverse and it will put the selection just around him rather than around everything else. And then I'm just going to go up to edit then fill and make sure it says content aware right here in the contents box or in the use box and click OK. So it's going to go through that depending on how big your selection is depends on how long it's going to take. And you can see that it did a fairly nice job here. Um, it definitely looks like that person um, that nothing had happened there and that the person wasn't even there in the first place. So now we can take and uh, also take out this guy with the camera and he's going to be a little bit um, harder because we need to take and get close to this golf cart. So you're going to want to make sure you use a smaller brush. You can hit Q and so I'm just going to quickly paint over him. We just want to make sure that we don't get too close onto that golf cart because again Photoshop is analyzing things that are close to what you're trying to take out. So if I get too much onto that golf cart it's going to think that I want golf cart out there in the field. So we just have to be careful with your selection. The clearer your selection is the easier and the better that your um, results are going to be. So once I have that I'm going to hit Q again. Again to go to select inverse then edit, fill, content aware, click OK and you can see that we have a pretty nice job there. So um, you can see that there, it didn't do quite the best job. Um, there's a little bit of outline where I think I missed with the brush tool and what you can do is go over to the spot healing brush and make sure that you have content aware checked on and what you can do is basically just highlight over some of the areas that need fixing and you can just touch that up. You can see that it's doing quite a nice job there of fixing up what should be. So if you have any issues you can always touch them up with that tool. So as you zoom out you can see that we no longer have those figures in the field and it looks um, just as they shouldn't have been there in the first place. So um, before I go I just wanted to mention with the content aware fill feature um, it doesn't always work great. Now um, if you're taking out bigger objects or if your object is too close to something else um, it might try and grab in some of that other object. So you have to try and make as clear a selection as you want and even if you do so like if I was trying to take out this golf cart here um, it would be hard for Photoshop to guess what this plow looks like and what everything is going to be um, behind that. But what it does give you is it will give you a great starting point if you wanted to um, go through and take out this golf cart. It definitely gives you a starting point of where you can work with that's a lot better than if you just try to do it without using content aware fill first. So I just wanted to uh, throw out this tutorial so that you guys could uh, understand that and probably save some time in taking out objects, images, people, anything that's uh, in your projects. So hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.